I'm Jason Hellman, Director of Instruction at Windance Golf Club. Today we're going to talk to you about one of my favorite drills to do, and that is stability and impact. A lot of the times people focus on flexibility and mobility, but being stable is really more important. So I've got a set of tees here in a box, and what we're going to do is, I call this drill, fire in the box. We're simply just going to take our ball up to the top of our backswing and try and fire the ball into the box. And the purpose of this drill is, what happens in, in most amateurs is they end up doing this. All right, so get up here and they'll tend to get more on their toes this way and then rock back to their heels. So a whole bunch of things have happened there. They've lost posture and they've obviously lost balance. So when you lose your posture, you're gonna tend to stand up as you go on your toes like this to try and counterbalance yourself. So this drill is gonna promote being stable at impact. So it's gonna look like this from this, from this down the line angle here. Up to the top, got our hand down here, still in the box and we're gonna try and fire the ball in the box and get stable at impact into the left heel. Here's what it looks like from the top down. Okay, so I'm pointing my finger in the box here when I'm done and my right shoulder stayed down. So I really kind of stayed in the shot here. If you wanna progress the drill, what we can do is take your grip from there, okay, extend, and then go up to the finish. So let's take a look at the face on angle and see what that looks like. Simply address the tees here. I'm going to go up to the top. Okay, we're going to fire this ball in the box and get stable into the left side again. And then pointing down in the box here, we're going to extend the drill to taking your grip here, going to extension, and then going up to the finish. All right, now this drill can be done simply without a golf club. You can do this in the backyard, uh, at the golf course itself, uh, anywhere. Uh, the most common mistake is that people think that they have to go and hit balls all the time for two or three hours and really we're, we're practicing a biomechanical pattern here. So try this drill, I know it will help you improve your stability and impact and we'll catch you next time.